Okay. Hello, hello. We've got two minutes to begin today's workshop. I'm super excited about it. It's a feature that I've been waiting for a long time. And it's finally here. It's not perfect, but it's a very good beginning. I'm really excited about this one. And I'm really happy that I can share it with you. As you know, Lucre Studio Masterclass is about planning your dashboard, connecting to your data sources, transforming data, visualizing that transformed data, adding interactivity to your report, sharing it with others publicly, privately, securely, managing your assets in Lucre Studio and sometimes BigQuery. Today, we are talking about visualization. We're going to take a very deep look at building responsive dashboards in Lucre Studio, which is a completely new feature released a couple of weeks ago. It is still new to me as well. So there is a lot happening, I guess, behind the scenes in this feature. And there will be more that we can be waiting for. Okay, let's dive in and explore and see what do we have. We're going to see what a responsive layout is. Now we have something more restrictive, but something that adds more capabilities to our report as well, responsive capabilities. We see how we can design and start designing with a responsive layout in Looker Studio some best practices for using sections and components and designing responsive reports, a live walkthrough of creating those sections, adding charts, previewing, et cetera. I'm actually seeing how we can preview our reports across different devices, like how does it look on mobile? How does it look on tablet? How does it look on desktop? And also we take a look at the limitations, current limitations that hopefully will go away over time as new features are being added to Lucre Studio. Okay. So. Freefall versus responsive, the decision. It's starting like a couple of weeks ago, whenever we start creating, building a blank report, we are presented with two options. Do we want freefall? Do we want responsive? Do we want freefall? Do we want responsive? We are forced to make a decision at the beginning, even before we start creating the report. So let's first see about the differences between the two so we can make some more informed decisions in the future. And then jump into Lucre Studio and play around with the feature. Okay, so preform layout, it's like whatever we had before. It's a canvas, there is a width, there is a height, and we can put the components whenever we want. And responsive, yeah, it adjusts to the viewport of the device of the viewer who's looking at the report. The main difference between the two comes from how different components are placed on the report canvas and where do they align to? Where do they snap to? So. In the freeform layout, the only tool that we had to kind of organize the components on a report was a grid. We could adjust the kind of a space between the grid points that we could snap to the grid points and we could place components, lay them out in a way that they align with the grid, arriving at a more organized dashboard. Okay. With the responsive layout, we have two different kind of things that we need to keep in mind. Okay. So. This is flexible. This is what we had before. And we didn't even have to align to the grid. We could place the grid and then not adhere to it, which was kind of funny. Who does that? But I did it sometime and I've seen people do that. This is the free form using a grid, but in a responsive layout, first of all, the size of the canvas is not fixed. It's kind of automatically being determined depending on the viewport size, both the widths of it and the heights of it. We have access to two new tools to organize our dashboard canvas. Okay. One is sections. So we've got access to sections now, which we take a look at them. They're the building blocks of the responsive layout. And we also have access to a 12 column grid. So grids are not points anymore. They're columns and they're always 12. There's no 10, there's no eight, there's no 16. It's always a 12 column grid. Okay. Vertically. To organize our report, we use sections, okay, section after section. And within a section, when we want to place a component, a bar chart, a table, a scorecard, they have to align to one of these columns. So they either have to be one column, two column, three column, and align to the edge of one of these columns. We cannot decide that, okay, there is a grid, but we don't want to adhere to it. It's fixed. They must align to the grid, okay? And then this... Grid magically enables Looker Studio to resize components on different viewports uh, on a tablet, on a mobile. Because when we have a 12 column grid, then when it's a tablet, it makes it a two column grid and automatically expands, reduces the size of the 
component to fit either half or the full width of the screen. So they increase or decrease size within the grid, depending on which device they're being looked at. Okay. And if you want to note it, the kind of trigger point happens at 776 pixels. So when the report is being viewed on a desktop or any viewport or a tablet that has a viewport that is wider than 776 pixels, it will use the 12 column grid. Otherwise, it will fall back on both mobiles and tablets to a two column grid. And we'll see how different components behave when switched between devices. Okay, so let's move on to Lucre Studio and take a look at today's lesson. 